Martin Gerstel was CEO of Alza when it was sold to Johnson & Johnson for $10 billion. Now he is chairman of Israeli drugs firm Compugen and joins us live from the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange. Uh, so, Mr. Gerstel, let's start with your company then. What makes you so confident about the prospects? Well, I think really to talk, to talk about Compugen, uh, you really have to uh, answer the question, what's happened to the pharmaceutical industry? I mean, this was an industry that not that long ago was the uh, most profitable and the, uh, the, the, really the darling of, of Wall Street. And it's none of the usual sub, uh, subjects or uh, suspects in the situation in that the market continues to grow, the number of unmet medical needs is enormous. The, uh, there hasn't been any change like uh, what aluminum did to steel or, or airplanes to railroads. Uh, and the few products that have come to the marketplace, even if they were modest improvements with substantially higher pricing, yeah. were rapidly accepted. So, so what happened with the industry? And the answer is very simple, and it leads to the reason that Compugen exists. The answer is that the industry has always relied on experimental discovery. That is, you do an experiment and you hope to see something of interest that could lead to a drug. This began by throwing a single chemical made by a scientist, a chemist, to a rat and seeing if anything happened. Over the years, it's progressed with more and more spectacular technology, but basically the same concept. Now we, we, we create thousands, if not millions, of molecules with combinatorial chemistry and throw them at, at, at chips. But it's basically the same yeah. concept. And the one thing for certain that you can say about experimental discovery is that you get the easy things first, and then it gets harder and harder and harder. And, and the industry has hit the wall now. They're not essentially making any more discoveries through that method. There is a difference, and Compugen has been pioneering this for 10 years. That difference is to rely on an understanding of the, of the underlying science and to utilize that underlying science to create predictive models and those predictive models then predict novel molecules that have never been seen before and predict what they should do in the human body. Uh, we, yeah. This was not simple to do. We're now proving that it can be done. I think there still are many scientists in the world who aren't familiar with our results and so, probably so, believe that it's not possible. Uh, Mr. Gerstel, your share price, Compugen's share price this year, it's down, if we, if we just take a look at that, it's actually down some 20% so far. The stock did, though, you did enjoy a big spike in September. I'm just wondering whether or not you expect this turnaround to continue and when you will reap the financial benefits of the, uh, the experiments that you're doing now. Right, that's, that's the key question. Because it took us 10 years of basic science, close to 100 peer-reviewed scientific papers to create the scientific infrastructure that allowed us to build these models. Over the last couple of years, we've started to uh, do the in vitro and in vivo testing of a number of these molecules. And right now, we're beginning to get some very substantial interest by the pharmaceutical industry. I think no matter what happens to Compugen, we clearly have changed the industry. Yeah. And, and after, so, the, after, the human, after the Human Genome Project, many companies tried to do predictive biology. They all failed. Uh, we took the hard road. For 10 years, we've been doing the science. We are now proving that it can be done. Yeah. The initial molecules are spectacular in major diseases, in areas mm. where the industry has spent hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars, and we are routinely discovering these molecules. Now, in specific answer to your question, yeah. our goal is to feed our molecules to the pipelines of the industry. And we, we're, our, right. our first wave of molecules well, is Martin reaching Gerstel, that stage now. Martin Chairman of now. Compugen, thank you so much. Really interesting to get your views on your company and indeed the challenges facing the biotech industry. Thanks very much.